This is Aviv and Jared from Westco Shaving, and today we're here with Matthew, and Matthew's about to shave with the razor for the first time in his life. It's actually easier for me if you just refer to him as a number. Hmm. I don't want to feel bad when something happens to him. Oh, I got you. We're here with shaver number one, two, four, five. <laughs> um, don't ask what happened. <laughs> one, two, four, four. Okay, so we you've never done this before. We've talked like very briefly about the fact that it's important to let the weight of the razor do all the work. Um, so if you want to start, you know, typically, I don't have a mirror, but you could start with your sideburns uh, as like the starting point, but you don't have to right now. Um, what's helpful, I think, is to put it against your face like this, the top cap, you know, straight on, and then sort of let it fall down to the point where the blade is, is going to be in contact. So I think you probably bring it up just a tiny bit here and for this yeah just make sure it's like fully flat again uh -huh. instead of like at an angle or something like uh -huh. that um, and then once that happens you just want to let it fall that's how you do it now okay. you have an open comb so you can you can let it go it's not going to fill up you won't have to wash it out right away Get hair in there? Yeah, okay. a little bit. I heard a little something. So move around. Don't keep going back to the same spot. We'll we'll come back. We have a beard, so it's gonna uh -huh. uh, you'll have a couple passes. Um, but basically, right, so line it up there, and then bring it down to where the blade touches your skin. If you feel like it's not cutting, if it's just dragging, then the angle might not be quite right. You might uh -huh. want to make it a, bring it down a little bit more. Yeah, somewhere in there, sure. And if it's if it's stuck, don't pull it though. Uh -huh. Right? So it should more or less fall. Okay. Do you feel like it, it falls or you have to pull it? I feel like it falls. Okay. Yeah. So try over here. Try like the sideburn side and go to the other side of your of your blade. Yeah. Now, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Wait, do you have a comment? No, you, you'll see uh, people, because I know you watch these videos a lot on YouTube. That's like your hobby. Um, <laughs> you'll see people. You'll it's see, been a dream of mine to start one of these videos. <laughs> when you're not having a nightmare about, <laughs> about me shaving your head. Um, you'll see that, uh, it, you know, in general, you should feel free to like not revisit. It's called like buffing, essentially. Not like revisit, but because... Um, you still have lather there. I'm not too worried about your your pressure is totally fine. You're you're not like pulling at all. So, um, but like in general, if you were someone who might be prone to like pulling it or applying too much force, then I'd say like it's especially important not to go over the same spot more than once until you relather. Okay. But the idea is really like until you know what you're doing, and maybe not ever, but especially not before. You don't want to go over the same spot if there's no lather on your skin. Got it. We got a new target. Want to go the other side? Uh, what do you think? Sure. Is it making a dent at all? It's growing back faster than you can cut. <laughs> um, it's a small dent. Got a beard. Yeah. So you have a mild blade in there right now on purpose, uh -huh. um, and, and I think that will be all you'll need today, but my guess is um, as you start busting through that top layer, after that it, it'll all kind of go oh, more quickly. quicker. Yep. So it looks like, I mean, the water's pretty yucky. It looks like you're picking up plenty of hair on those passes. Yeah. This is actually the first time I've ever shaved. You have someone who shaves you? <laughs> How does that work? No, I've been growing out this beard my entire life. <laughs> Just for this moment, Jared. I feel so bad. <laughs> Any 
Any initial impressions so far? Harder or easier than you expected? Um, you know, I don't really know what I was expecting, but it's definitely not that difficult. Good. Yeah. I mean, it's slower than if you use like a. Well, I mean, yeah. especially your first time. Yeah, yeah. Right? But yeah, it definitely is slower. Right. Um, okay, so are you gonna give me pointers so, on doing this? Or I I would go. I think you want to just concentrate on going straight like that, just from here to here, and so line it up, get the angle right. Yep. There's no pulling there, right? Um, yeah. Okay, so as long as it's not pulling, I think that's fine. You mean it would be uncomfortable, right? Yeah, you feel it like yeah. someone kind of no, tugging no. on hairs. Yeah, coming up. And so you can kind of move around if you want. So what Aviv said is it is trickier here. Uh -huh. And basically is you've got that dip, right? Uh -huh. um, so, right, you can do it like that. And again, real light pressure. And once you come around to the other side, you're going to do that same thing with that strip right there. What do you think? It definitely feels better when you get like uh, once you shave off like the initial hair. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean you got through a lot of it. Uh, obviously, like close to your jawline, and I'm fuzzing all over. <laughs> close to your jawline uh, will be slightly trickier. So you can feel free to keep it like above your jawline for right now, uh -huh. and then we can kind of talk you through. Next step. Confidence, man. Look at that guy. First time I've ever shaved, dude. Right? <laughs> this is not all of us can have like people who wait on his hand and foot, man. Is this actually the first time you've ever shaved? <laughs> no. He's had oh. he's had a butler his whole life. And Jeeves comes by. No, but I actually don't really, I don't really enjoy shaving that much. Mm -hmm. I find it to be kind of like a chore. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you know, it's a big, a big uh, draw to this type of shaving is that you turn something that's a chore, right? And you make it a more pleasurable event. Uh huh. You're you're doing something that you had to do, and you're do changing it to something you want to do. There's like a story behind the products usually, and if you dive deep, like you get to know the people who make the different goods and like attack, you, know, you get to, it feels more personal. Uh -huh. Yeah, the sense of what you picked out, the brush is one you like, stuff like that. Um, you, you're actually like, you're, you kind of got it straight away too in terms of you went uh, down with the direction of your hair the first time, and now you're unintentionally, I, I suspect, but going across the hair on your second pass to kind of clean it up. And so you're Unintentional, looking pretty, huh? pretty good on this side. <laughs> Unless you are, are you a ringer? Did, and we put out that ad on Craigslist. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Especially said, someone who has not done this kind of shit. No, I, I so promise I've never done Again, that. like if you're gonna start on your neck, you wanna, you wanna just like, start, the, more, the more flat your skin is, the better, the easier it is going to be to shave it. Also, uh -huh. so you can also see what you're doing. You know, if you lift your head and you start, and there's no blade in here. Right. For all the people that are worried about me. <laughs> Man, this guy's amazing. <laughs> Just want to be careful of your Adam's apple. Right. If it uh, protrudes. Definitely turn it around once it gets like clogged up with enough uh -huh. air. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Wash it out, maybe, and lather up again. I yep. think it's like drying up. Yep. Maybe we should have paid for special effects. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Um, I got you another jar of water in case you want to add some water. I don't know. I don't know that you need to, but. Um, what you should do instead of adding it to there right now, I mean you can, but in addition, um, I would actually like wash your face a little bit. So okay. That, so put some of that water. I mean you can even put it on the towel if you want. Mm -hmm. Whatever, whichever way you want to do it. Obviously there are some disadvantages to not being air sink. Right, right, um, right. But you can like dip that towel in there if you want, and then just like. Um, so instead of adding the water to the brush, typically what you want to do is wash your face anyway, because you can wash like the the hair that. You shave any strays kind of sitting around there, uh -huh. um, move some of the dry lather off, and then because your face will be wet, you don't need to wet the brush necessarily. Okay. But you can if you want to. I won't do any more as long as you don't add tons. Yep, here you go. Is it? Easier lather now <laughs> without the beard? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, and you can put in a, like put in a tiny bit more water. What the heck? Um, but you're doing just fine. Doesn't look like you got any irritation or anything. If we were looking for a ringer so far, you would be the guy. Oh, wow. I'll add this to my resume. <laughs> this mirror is like, is it a certain, it gets blurred if it's a certain distance away. Mm -hmm. Bring it closer. Yeah, yeah, make, yeah, make it, it over if you want. Is that the, is that Extreme the, close -up is it? Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> A lot of people said this was going to be like watching paint dry, but this is at least halfway more exciting. <laughs> I said that specifically about me coming here? <laughs> nope, nope, just watching some windshield. Yeah. <laughs> so we taught Jared how to shave with his we. <laughs> uh, someone taught Jared how to shave with a straight razor the other week, and uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, uh, it's, it's kind of fun learning something. So what's the difference about. between what I'm doing right now? So the, the straight has a, um, or sorry, the uh, double edge okay. has a guard got built it. into it. it. So it kind of stretches your skin for you and, um, you know, less exposure <laughs> to cutting yourself. So yeah, the Adam's apple is tougher for sure. Um, you got is, it, man. You're killing it. it. Yeah. It does seem like we maybe pick someone who we shouldn't have picked for this because he is making it look stupid easy. Well, I mean... Go on, you know there's someone that struggling like a right testament? Now. You know there's someone out there struggling right now and you're about to say it's super easy. Yeah. You're gonna make that person feel terrible. That's true. Thank you for stopping me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but what do you think? I mean, is it... It seems I mean, like it's easier than you... Yeah, for sure. Um, I would say... If I don't shave every day, I definitely have like a... Something. Like a shadow, mm -hmm. um, so maybe I shave more than your average person. Um, do you feel like? Do you know which your might? Skin is? It just might contribute to the fact that this is easier for me to pick up. So one thing do you know I mean? that I missed the first time I shaved right here yeah. behind your no, jawline. Yeah, this is the, hard, that's the hardest it. part. So what, one thing I do is I'll. Right. So you're missing it. It's like yeah. right there. Yeah. Just kind of stretch, and then you can go like this. Just be careful because you have like this ridge right at, at your jawline. Right. See, I do the the double chin method. What's that? You go like this, basically. <laughs> it makes this straight, though. We do actually do that. Yeah. It makes this like. You just well, see what works for you. I thought you were joking. That actually yeah, works. <laughs> I thought you, you were. Like, I thought you were making a joke. Well, I mean, it's reasonable. I do that, but. No, this one's... 
It just kind of bothers me. I feel like I have something to, to contribute. Yep, there you go. I'm really excited. Yeah, double chin. I do it all the time. Because it just, any spot that has an angle to it, you can make flat, essentially, by doing that under your jawline. line. Do you ever change the blade while you're... No, you would, no. You, you'd get a couple of shaves out of it. Um, maybe fewer if you were always shaving a beard, but... <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Abe, can we make that the thumbnail for the video? <laughs> yeah, look at that though. It does work well. Yeah. Alright, so this is where you're like a cowboy now, right? You just like get in there, you don't even worry about relathering. You should relather. Okay. I'm gonna do something, if that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a lot of water. Okay. And I'm gonna, let's see what happens. I think it's gonna be, Messy. I think you're gonna Don't get a little bit, even if it's a little bit watery in the beginning, it'll end up being like a... And get your mustache too, unless you plan on leaving that sucker. <laughs> no, we'll take care of that. We're gonna start calling you Ron Burgundy. I find that a lot of people, when they're first starting out, they don't add, you can keep going, I think. Oh, yeah. They don't add enough water to the... You find that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's true, I was showing my brother the other day. Yeah. And it was like, just like paste on yeah. his on his face. I was like, just Wait. like... Yeah. So as you get better at this, you'll uh -huh. find that you're going to take off more hair with each like swipe. Uh -huh. And then like, you'll have much less yeah. soap left behind. You'll just get like better, you'll get a little bit more confident, you'll get the angle a little bit better. Right. And uh... So, yeah, you're, you're definitely... Just be know, careful that. doing something like this, watch. Be careful going like this, yeah. like ever twisting, because that's when the you razor cut will yourself. cut you. Alright, it's looking good there. Oh right, yeah, is that, is that clear, Jared? Yeah. Stamp of approval? I mean, I'm not, I, I haven't like touched it to see if there's like stubble, but uh, it certainly looks like you, you've got it covered. So you should expect no stubble when you do it. Because usually when I use, yeah. like say I'll use a, like a disposable razor. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> I travel a little bit. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Um, and there's usually stubble left over afterwards. Yeah. Like right sure. there, when it kind of feels like yeah. it's touching your skin, yeah. you don't want to do that. Yeah. Well, you got the majority taken off. Yeah. You have a little bit right here. How do you yeah. find, in terms of getting under your nose, is it easy to maneuver? Uh, not really. Because that's usually for folks with a bit of learning curve. Yeah. And also, here. Yeah. So it could be helpful if you want to go like this. Sideways. Hmm. Seriously. Like with it? Yeah. Like this. Really? Alright, I'm going to try it, Jared, but I'm trusting you here. So that's called a, a cross the grain. Because so we didn't really examine the way your hair grows, but usually you would want to look at the direction your hair grows. Uh -huh. Yeah, we talked a, a little bit about it like before before the camera went on, but we didn't look too closely. Um, and we're not doing anything that is intentionally against the grain today. Right. You got it. I would, uh, I'd wash off with a towel and just see, like, if you see any, like, clear spots you missed. What do you think? Is this something that you could see yourself ever trying again? Absolutely. Um, definitely not every day. Mm -hmm. Unless I shave at night. Yeah, that's when I shave. Which I usually don't do that. Yeah. Um, 
No, it takes more time. Yeah. And some people do it. Like one of our guys put up a video recently, uh, how to shave quickly. Um, and so, like, there are absolutely more people who do it this way in the morning, and they do it quickly. Um, but I'm not one of them, uh, and so I definitely take more time and and. Uh, yeah. So there's like techniques of how to do it quicker and fast or slower? Well, quicker anyway. Yeah. I think slower is just how you do it. How you do it. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, do you feel like there's any irritation or anything like that? Yeah. Uh, and any like any spots that were particularly tricky? Uh, here. Okay. But I got this new yeah. double chin check yeah. that yep. I like. Yep. Um, and I can see that I didn't get all the hair. And you can probably feel it, right? Yeah. How is it? Is it unadvisable to do it like just at the end to try to get without any? No, it's fine. Leather. Oh, with that. So one thing that people do is, uh, Jared, can I actually grab your brush? Yeah. So some people like for the very end, mm -hmm. they'll just take the leather out mm -hmm. and you can put it where you know you need to work it in. You'll, as then, you do it, you'll feel yeah. where there's hair. And so then you can just kind of put it right there uh -huh. and shave it. Yeah. Um, so you just like squeeze. Uh -huh. Right. Except I would do it with like the hand I'm not shaving with. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> I do that. Yeah. Just put it all on now. Um, okay. And then as you're doing it, you'll feel where there's hair. No, I mean, it's it's good quality, so not it's gonna happen like from relathering it and stuff. Right, right, right. It's got stuff in there. To take good care of shit. And so you could tell depending on which way you like rub your hand, you might feel like, oh, this feels smooth, and stuff. When I go the other direction, I can feel you know, stubble, and you can decide whether or not it's like close enough, or if you want to go for the gold. Right. So we didn't. Your razor's do, in there. <laughs> <laughs> we we didn't do any like more aggressive passes except for that little bit over here. Right. Uh, but you know, first pass is traditionally going with the grain, and then to get closer, usually what you'll do is try to go sideways. So if the hair is growing down here, you can go this way or this way. Uh huh. And you know, and little by little, get closer to the skin. So if you are feeling stubble, like it's not surprising, um, but it should. Obviously, it's a heck of a lot less than you had before. All right. And then the closest pass is to go against. Mm -hmm. So you would go up yeah, with your hair. Direction. The opposite direction of your hair growth. That's the closest way. Right. So consider, like, going over here. Like, try going that way. Okay. And that'll be, like, a cross grain. And I would just say, like, for people that are trying this for the first time, mm -hmm. like, don't wear your skin out too much, you know? Like, if you if you find that you've gotten it pretty close, and I, I would just stop. And and then maybe grab, like, a cartridge and just finish it off, like, in the tougher spots. And then next time, like, there's a little bit of learning that goes along here. And instead of doing, like, six or seven passes, I would stop after, like, two clean it up with another way and then the next time you hit it, next time you shave, you'll see it's closer. The next time you save it, you'll see it's closer. And then this way, you're not going for perfection on day one. I don't, I guess you haven't really spoken to, to Matthew much, but he goes for perfection on day one. Oh, okay. No mistakes, Jared. <laughs> I think that looks awesome. Yeah. Is it done? It's done whenever you want it to be done. You can get, go like however close. I feel like I'm starting to get kind of cocky with this. I should right, you are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would not uh, talk to you about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I call this a victory. Yeah. Like, you know, no, no cuts. No cuts, man. Looks That's like it. your skin is not. All right, coach. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. You dip it? <laughs>